some hibbertine on it to cover that little wound. Yeah. So okay. what happened to this kitten? This little kitten got fell and got stuck between between stair rungs. Between stair rungs. Yeah. Why? And came in and it was lame. She's Ooh. only I know. how many weeks old? She's only. I'm not sure how old she is, to be honest. But we're going to put those stirrups up high enough. And this one tongue depressor is going to keep the tape from sticking to each other. Then we'll use some cast padding just to give it a little bit of support and pad it a bit, but we don't want it too, too thick. She was definitely more sedate last time. Okay, and then we're going to take some cling wrap and we're going to apply just a little bit of pressure to snug it up a little bit. Got to make sure we can see the end of her little toes. Can we just lift her up a little bit, John, and leave? Easier, yeah. Look at that easier, okay, maybe? I know. I know. So we've got to get it snugged yeah. up in here far enough. These, give them a little twist, and attach them there, and cut that little extra off. And why you are using the uh, uh, tongue depressor? It's just so that you can keep the tape from sticking together. Yeah. I mean, uh, no, now you're going to put it as a oh, support? Oh, yes, yeah, as a support, we'll put one. Yeah, I mean, um, why there is, uh, there is no bigger enough, smaller uh, enough for the kitten? Yeah, we don't have a small enough uh, splint for her. Okay. Because she's so tiny. Yeah. So the tongue depressors usually work fairly well. And one side is enough? One side will be enough for her case because she's too short. It'll dig up into her. And even if we cut it, I'm worried um, that it's going to cause some injury to her yeah. hair. And it seemed to work the last time, so we'll see. Sometimes it's hit and miss and it might fall off in a day or so. This yeah. one, we were lucky it stayed in for a whole week. And I noticed you left 
abyss here not covered. Why? Yes, we need to see those toes to make sure that they're not swelling. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of extra padding under here just to cover the end of where that tongue depressor is. Okay. And we could even put a little piece down here. just to give it a little bit of padding around there. Okay, and then we can use some of our vet wrap. Just to give it an extra little thin layer to keep everything together. And how often we need to check the uh, splint and change it? Uh, they should come in at least once a week sooner, of course, if there's any problems. Okay. You did x-ray last week and this week too? Yeah, we did an x-ray last week and it's been exactly a week and we've re-x-rayed it today. Okay. Next, we're going to take just some of this light plastic. Tape, yeah. Just to put a little strip along the bottom and we'll put a strip up at the top, half to catch the fur and the other half to catch the band-aid just to keep it in place a little, a little better. Uh, this is the wider uh, stuff. There is a, a thinner roll that you can use as well. You can see it's quite stretchy which is nice. In instruction, you're going to tell the mom about it? Uh, what yes. she needs to do at home? She needs to keep the kitten quite confined, so little or no activity, cage rest. Yeah. Um, she will have to wear a little cone collar if she is uh, chewing at the bandage, uh, trying to pull it apart. And check the little toes every day for swelling to make sure they're not swollen. Um, make sure it's kept dry. Uh, we did uh, tell the owner to have a very short litter pan. Yeah. So what works really well is the little cardboard flats from the canned food yeah. that we get at the clinic. And just make sure the kitty's eating and drinking good. We did have her on some pain medication as well. And the owner said that she was doing really good. Great. So hopefully this week we will have the same success. Great. For sure, if it's done by you, yeah, we're going to have a success. <laughs> okay, let's just let her stand out. Let's see. Here you go. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Sandy. You're welcome.